Having centers in my classroom, it really allows me to pull four or five students and work with them on a personal level. It really gives teachers a knowledge base of where your students are as learners and then where they need to go in order to make the growth you need them to make. In my centers, I want the students to be able to work independently so that I can really focus on my group of kids that I have at the table. So I use a lot of technology in my classroom. I use the smart board, the iPads, the computers, and then the other centers, um, they're usually doing something with reading, whether it's writing or listening to a book or actually working with letters and building words. Um, we start off the year with a lot of um, discussion about the procedures that I use in my centers. I have a routine that I like to stick with and so each week I change out the material but the center stays the same. So with kindergarten we start the year where they are um, learning to stand by their center, how to use the materials, when the timer goes off they're standing cleaning up and standing by them again and they really get used to that routine at first. I walk around and I am making sure that the students are engaged in the activities and understanding what to do before I actually start pulling reading groups to my table. I think that the advantage is that the students are engaged in the work. They should be working on skills that we have previously taught in the classroom and centers are a way that I can reinforce the skills that I've already taught. For example, in my smart board center, um, if we're working on the letter T, when we go to centers, the students may be working on finding the letter T, writing the letter T, or matching the picture with the sound. And so it's just a good way to reinforce what they already have learned. In kindergarten, we still do centers just like the students are used to in pre-K. The difference is that our centers are focused more academics on the skills that we have taught in a whole group setting. So when they go to their centers in kindergarten, they are actually working on those skills um, to help their reading. I think that just like pre-k the students are used to working with partners, they're used to um, taking turns and learning how to share, learning how to interact with somebody else and it really helps them understand how to get along with each other in the classroom and really creates that family in the classroom. In the Poetry Center the students are usually working on the letter of the week so, for instance, if they're working on letter A, they are reading the Alpha Friend poem, Andy Apple, and they're finding all of the A's in the poem. Um, they're practicing writing capital A and lowercase a, and then they're drawing pictures of, the pic of what happens in the poem. Poetry? You like the taking? What do you do in the Poetry Center? Uh, you watch me. So all the words that start with T, and then write everything that starts in the song of Tiggy Tiger. In iPad Center, the students are working on different games to promote reading skills. Some games that they do are rhyming words. Um, they work with tracing letters and letter formation. There are books that are read aloud to them, and there are different games with matching alphabet letters. What do you do on the iPad? You, you read on the... You, you get on the reading games and play them, but sometimes we do maths and tools, so we have maths and tools on it. In the Smart Board Center, they are usually working on um, the letter of the week or the skill of the week. So they are dragging pictures that begin with the same sound. They are tracing, circling, or writing different words. This is, I know what this is. What? Smart board. What do you do on the smart board? You, you read all the things that are taught with T and the T, and the T things go over there. In Writing Center, I give them different prompts to do. Um, as the year progresses, it might be write me one sentence, or it might just be practicing writing words. Oh, this is writing. What are they doing in writing? They got to circle all the bad balls with T's, and then trace T, and then write the number eight, Trace the letter A, at, I mean number A, and then write the letter, write the number A by yourself. And I can, and then 
first they gotta let go now and now. Okay. And then, if they, if they finish it all, they can just call the turtles and talk to our channel. At computers, they are usually working on different programs. I use Starfall, ABC, uh, and Freckle.com in my classroom. What's this center? Computers. What do you do here? Oh, one is messed up, but that not one, because we, we do lots of reading games. You do reading games? Excellent. These are the reading games. Oh, awesome. At library, they are usually um, choosing a book, and they are using uh, their book buddy and their whisper phone. I tell them that if they're not ready to read yet, they can look at the pictures, they can make up the story themselves, or they can find words that we have already learned in the classroom. It's actually the reading center, but we call, but in here we call it the library. You call it the what? Library. Oh, the library. Cool. And then we just get a book. And then get a whisper phone. It was like this. And then you, and then you can sit on this or that or that. Okay. And you can get a reading bell. All right. Awesome. Let's go to the next center. At Listening Center, they are putting on the headphones and they are reading stories um, and then responding to the story. Usually I try to pick a book that relates to a unit of study that we are learning about in the classroom. For instance, this week we worked on pets and so I chose the book 43 Cats at Listening Center about a lady who owned 43 cats. Oh, that's listening. Listening. Yes. You put the green bay into go, and then you hear all the sounds, and then they tell you the correct sound. And at WordWork, they are putting letters in order at the beginning or forming words as we move on, and they learn their high frequency words. That's really a word building center for them to build sight words. You match all the ABCs, but what we usually do here is that we write our name. Is we find our name and put it there. But now we're doing these stuff. And then at the sight word center, they are doing different types of work with the sight words. I also include puzzles um, that have rhyming skills and just different skills that will promote that reading fluency. These are key rocks. What is it? A key rock. Key rocks. Okay. What do you do over here with the key lock? You just find the correct key and then just rock it with the right key. I would like to encourage all of the pre-K parents here at Carver to continue your child's education here. I think we have a wonderful kindergarten program along with the other grades. When your child gets in kindergarten, we offer many um, special classes such as young astronauts, um, we offer art, music, PE, and I think the kindergarten experience is a really just exciting and fun adventure here at Carver.